Good morning, my subscriber friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please make sure to click that red button and subscribe and like this video. I currently have a giveaway going on right now, um, and what I am giving away is downstairs. I'm not going to put it on my face this morning, but what I'm giving away is the mini star palette by natasha denona so i thought it fitting for me to use it this morning on my eyes as you can see the rest of my makeup is already done i love thursdays because for me thursday is the end of my work week my regular work week and then i do the nursing home so <sighs> but um it might be a long day. I don't know what's on the schedule for today. So depending on the length of the procedures, I will announce the winner tonight when I get home, but it may be seven o'clock. It may be eight o'clock. It may be nine o'clock. So get those entries in. <clears throat> um, I'll link the video in the description box if I can, um, cause I'm doing everything from my smartphone right now still my one of the pieces for my room where I'm moving to shoot in got here last night I'm just waiting on the tripod um oh yes so my name is Laura I'm 34 I am a single mom of a beautiful 17 year old daughter I actually just made a video with her last night sweet little thing um she's still a little shy so she's a little quiet in some parts of the video but she kind of like loosened up for a few minutes I am a dental assistant and I work with Alzheimer's patients and dementia patients. So my grandmother actually died from Alzheimer's. So it's something that is very near and dear to my heart. Um, so yeah, I, I basically, I take care of my boss's dad, my dentist boss, who is a wonderful boss. I take care of his dad for him and you know, it's great. It works out really well. Um, I do live in New Jersey, but I am from South Carolina. If y'all cannot tell that I have a very thick Southern accent or either I get told that I have one or not one at all, which is just crazy to me. I'm, I'm like, are you deaf? Can you not hear me saying y'all and I'm fixing to do something? Every time I say I'm fixing to do something up here, they're like, what? You're what? I'm about to. I'm fixing to. I'm just like I'm fixing to do my eyes with this. <laughs> anyway, so also, uh, channel update I am at 80 subscribers. So we're only 20 away. 20 away. And when I get to 100, I have a big box of goodies saved and ready to go. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel maybe you'll get to win something um i'm also doing a series on my channel called the season of giving because i am a member of a lot of subscription boxes um so throughout the year what i do is the stuff that i either have already bought or won't probably won't use or just not interested in or already have like sometimes i get dupes I save it. I save and I save. So I have a lot of women in my family. So I have like most of Christmas for them taken care of. Um, I have to buy a couple things, which I'm going to do a little haul because I did a little, little shopping on Black Friday. So I'll show y'all what, what I got. I got y'all some stuff. One of the things I got for y'all was the, 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 the the Natasha Denona minis. I got all of them. The first one I'm giving away is the mini star. And so I thought it would be very appropriate for me to do a get ready with me with the mini star palette this morning. Um, I am wearing purple scrubs today, so I'm not sure how much of this blue I will dip into, but I wanted you guys to see the palette in action, how gorgeous it is and how easy it is to use. So, I'm going to start off, make sure my brush is clean. I always use the same brushes. I have a whole drawer full and I just use the same ones all the time. I do clean them once a week. In between, I just kind of use like a color switch or a paper towel. Um, 
and I just cleaned all my beauty blenders and left them out to dry. I do not do that thing. Of, I know some people put them in the microwave. Um, I don't think that's safe or smart, and I think you're going to ruin your $20 sponge if you stick it in the microwave. So, um, let's see what else is there. I don't think there's anything else in the intro. Um, I just wanted to make sure, you know, that I thank you guys for being here with me. And I really thank you guys for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, and spending time with me. I am also going to do a story time soon about the times that I got arrested. I didn't want to talk about it in front of my daughter last night because it's not for little ears. And it's, you know, goes along with me being... Oh, I don't know if I said this. I am a recovered addict. So I do have seven years clean and sober off of opiates. I was in an abusive marriage. Um, my husband used to beat me up. So I have PTSD. So I do like to talk about mental health. Um, you know, being beautiful from the inside out. How taking care of yourself takes care of everybody else around you. And I'm also really into physical fitness. I used to run a gym. Um, and I used to power lift and I, I would literally work out like three times a day. Um, now I have to, I have had to scale that back some because I did break my ankle. That's a whole nother story. Um, but I am going to do some fitness videos for you guys because FabFitFun does send some lifestyle stuff sometimes. And they sent me a bunch of, um, exercise bands last time or the time before and they're great, and I don't know if anybody else got them, um, or if anybody has like little dumbbell weights at home. So I wanted to show you some some good exercises so that you can have a nice perky butt, because <laughs> you know that's what we all want, right? Um, some women don't mind having the big legs that come with it. Usually, if, if you're gonna have a big squat butt, you're gonna have to have big quads. But, they, but you can target train. It's a little bit different. Bodybuilders train differently than like uh, power lifters do. So I used to power lift. I, I didn't bodybuild. But I do know how to bodybuild because I worked at a gym. So I know both ways of training. So it kind of depends on like what your goals are. But I do find that if you work out and train for muscle and change your mindset, like don't think, oh, I've got to lose weight, I've got to deprive myself, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna, don't go on a diet, you're gonna fail. That is setting yourself up for failure. What you need to do is train for strength. I wanna be strong, I wanna feed my muscles the right amount of protein, the, you know, your macronutrients and all of that. So when I, when I make that video, I'll kind of break that down a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. So this is what I'm giving away. I'm not giving you away this one though. This is my palette. And as you can see, it is very well loved. I have used it quite a bit. Um, I'm going to start off with this shade here. It does have the shade names on them. Um, but I never know which, which way they go. It's either Earth or Atik. I think it's Atik. Huh. Cosmo, Earth, Bellatrix, Atik, and Orion. So, yeah. Um, they are beautiful shades. That, and the reason they all have the star names is because it's from the star palette. The Big Star palette is actually the only palette from Natasha Dodona that I do not own. And I asked my boyfriend to get it for me for Christmas and he basically said no. <laughs> so, all right, anyways, let's get started. So I'm gonna dip into this shade here first, just to um, all over my uh, crease and everything. So I'm just gonna dip in. Her shadows are wonderfully pigmented. Yeah, see, just one swipe, boom. And I'm just going to blend this out and up. And you guys, my eyelashes are not real. These are not strip lashes. They are eyelash extensions. I go every two weeks and get them filled. 
Um, it's been about a week and in the change of seasons, humans are mammals. So you tend to shed hairs more like your eyelashes, your, the hairs on your head, the hairs on your body is technically so we can grow our winter coat. So if you do notice, um, like your hair is falling out more, your eyelashes are coming out more, it's completely normal and it should start slowing down once, you know, winter finally kicks in. And I don't know where you live, but basically we went from summer to winter here in New Jersey. We have about maybe two weeks of fall and then the other day it was a snowstorm. So, and my boyfriend, my poor boyfriend works He's a landscape architect, so he owns his own company. He has to work during the day doing that. They're still trying to do, you know, leaf cleanups and stuff. And then he also does snow work. So he was up, all, like, for more than 24 hours in a row. So he's all out of whack right now. And that's pretty much how he spends winter. <laughs> so winter at my house is a little bit nuts. But that's okay. My schedule is pretty regular. Um, usually I work two weeks on and then I have 10 days off. We never work Friday, Saturday, or Sunday at the dental office. So I make my own hours and go to the nursing home. And then I also do sell makeup on Poshmark and Mercari. So technically I have three jobs. Four if you count YouTube. Five if you count being a mom and, you know, head of household, running a household. But... You know, I I don't want to take anything away from the, my stay-at-home mommies out there. I know how hard that is. Um, and God bless you because I don't know how well I would do. I know for myself that any time I have been at home and not had a job and not had that adult interaction, it's really hard for me. Um, so God bless you and thank you for everything you do for your kids and, you know, I do not want to take that anything away from my stay at home mom friends out there. So, you know, now I'm going to dip into the darker brown right there. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my um, lid. And I'm just going to kind of make a V with it. So, and I love these little detailer brushes. See how small the end is? I love them for precision work for the outer corner. Um, or they're also great if you are doing a really colorful eye look and you're having several different shades in your crease and you really want, you know, to be able to do detail work. So I love these little brushes like that. And I have a couple of them. I think I also have one from um, Luxie that's really good, too. It's got a blue handle. Maybe this is it. Are you? Yes. So, see, these are great for detail work. So, um, I really like to use them in my outer corner just to kind of, you know, be more precise and put the eyeshadow exactly where I want it, how I want it, and not have it go too much on the lid because I'm just trying to deepen up my outer corner. Um, now I am going to work. So you usually I'm not going to do like a cut crease or anything like that because I'm going to work and that's just too much for, for work. Um, but you could use this palette and cut your crease and do like a really bold look if you wanted to with this blue or you could kind of keep it a little bit more subtle, which is what I'm going to do today since um, I am going to work and it's daytime, but, and then maybe when I do my giveaway announcement, I'll like kind of put on the blue before and show you what a nighttime look, what this palette looks like. So I love the fact that this palette is very versatile. You can use, uh, you, you can use all five pans and make a look. You can use three, you can use four, you can do kind of do whatever. But just having like the small palette makes it easier. I just find it, the color story is more cohesive and it's just easier to kind of do your eyes. So, and Natasha Denona's formula is amazing um, and worth every penny. 
I have all the mini palettes. I have a few of the regular sized um, by pan palettes and then I have all the big ones. The only ones I don't have are like the ones for professional makeup artists, like the blue, blue browns and then the purple ones. Cause I don't, I do not need that many shades of blue and I do not need that many shades of purple. Um, but I do want the star palette very bad. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of taking that brush that I had before and just using the, whatever was left on it and just kind of making sure there's no harsh lines, blending everything together and dragging this up a little bit more towards my brow bone. Okay, next I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to dip into this gold color right here. It's kind of a green gold, but it is very pretty. So this is what it looks like on the finger and then That is what it looks like on the eye. I'm going to build it up just a little bit. And then for me, I find that her shimmer formulas work best with my finger. I know in her new Metropolis palette, she's got some like cream to powder formulas with her mattes and those are amazing. Um, I have done a look with that palette before, but it was when my, my channel first started, so I don't know how many people have seen that video, but <clears throat> if you haven't, um, I'll be more than happy to do another one with it because there's so many things you can do with it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this eye and these dang lashes. <laughs> so not only do I have on eyelash extensions but i also use the grande um lash enhancing serum and it does work but it takes about <clears throat> a month for you to see it and i've only been using it for three weeks um but my esthetician the one that does my eyelashes she sees them you know under a microscope under bright lights and she can already tell a big difference so all right so soon I will be able to tell the difference, which is awesome. Okay, so now I have that green gold color on my lid and then I'm just gonna take this color in the center, um, which is like a like rosy gold, light, a uh, very light rose gold shimmer color. And I'm going to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone with that. And I think I'm gonna use this blue as like a little bit of eyeliner that way i'll use all the colors in the palette so you guys can see how it looks so now i'm just going up here i love this color this it's just enough without it being too much you could actually do a really pretty look with just the three colors in the middle if you're like feeling really simple you know <clears throat> which i love about her mini palettes because it's not a huge palette you don't have to sit there and go okay what do i want to do which colors are going to go well together oh that doesn't look good i do you know it kind of makes it <clears throat> just more cohesive easy for you to do your makeup um, if you heard that my boyfriend's yelling at my dog <laughs> okay and then inner corner and this is just a Morphe um, M326 little flat shader brush there, but it's soft, so I like it for um, highlighting and my inner corner. <clears throat> then what I'm going to do is take another Morphe soft, but more like a pencil brush, and I'm going to take that blue and just go under my eye with it, kind of like an eyeliner. So I just want to make sure that all of my... Um, eye primer is covered. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I think I'm getting sick because last night when I was making that video with my daughter, even though we were holding each other's noses, like my nose was just running, running, running. And, um, yeah, I think I am catching a bug. It's that time of year, so 
hopefully I don't get too sick because can't be missing work. Holidays are coming and I can't wait to, to so we're actually going to go to Florida for Christmas. I have a little sister and I have two little nieces, uh, three and five. About to be six though. Harper, my oldest, is about my oldest niece is about to be six. So now I am taking my Morphe M149 little pencil brush and I'm going into the beautiful blue teal kind of gold shifty duochrome shade and I am just gonna take that. Love you and put it on my lower lash line. Just like this. Gorge. Love it. Same thing on the other eye. Just going to take it. And put it on my lower lash line. Now, when I eat, sometimes when I use this palette, I'll put this on my lid and then tap the gold like in the center for a spotlight eye but since I'm going to work I'm not trying to be super dramatic so I'm just kind of being a little bit toned down but I kind of wanted you guys to see how well these shadows performed they blend super easily my look my eye look took what five minutes done completely done I just need to brush out my lashes and Maybe add just a little bit to my waterline, but other than that, easy peasy. So I'm going to brush out my lashes so I don't like it when the glitter gets on them. So you, when you have lash extensions, you brush them down and out and then kind of put them where you want when you open your eye back up. Same thing on this side, you brush them down and out. And then kind of put them where you want. All right. So that's my eye look for today. Get real close so y'all can see. Very pretty, very simple, very beautiful, but easy to use. That's why I like the little mini palettes. Because I know some people get overwhelmed by the big palettes, um, especially if you're not comfortable with makeup. But if you are comfortable with makeup, then, you know, the, the big palettes are a lot more fun. Um, like I said, I have them all except for the star palette, which I'm probably just going to buy for myself. See? Jersey? Strong. I used to manage that gym. And that's why I have this coffee cup. Um, so let's see. I do think I want to put a little eyeliner just on my waterline and maybe just a little bit of mascara on my under lashes. I know Nikki tutorials has been doing like, like one false lash under on her bottom lashes. I'm going to get some of those and see how they work out. Um, I'm terrible at putting on the actual falsies like the lash strips um that's why I go get extensions so I wonder if I can just do like one like she does I don't know she's way more skilled than I am of course I already contoured bronzed blushed the only thing I have left to do now is well, I do have the Natasha Denona um bloom and blush palette on and the tan tan and glow bronze tan and glow palette so that's what I have like around now this oh I've uh, this was in boxycharm premium for November you can you guys can see my palette is well loved because I actually got it but I, I was not a premium member until this month so I already, I already had it so I was like fine not off the wait list but whatever I already had the best product that was in there and I've seen a lot of people saying that this blush color is too dark. That's the blush I have on. So if you use the right kind of brush, it shears out. Normally I'll use like a densely packed brush like this. But what I have been using for that lately is the BoxyCharm brushes. So um, it's really dense and 
thick, so it works really well with cream products, and I like it. So, for anybody that thinks they can't wear that color of blush, it does sheer out on the skin. Just don't be super heavy handed when you put it on your face. Um, of course, you can always build it up, you know, to be darker, but you can also sheer it out a little bit. And uh, that's what I do. And then I take the lighter shade and go over it. And then I use the kind of little blush and glow. And that's how I get that little sparkle on my cheek which I know a lot of people don't like highlighter right here, but I, sometimes I'll do a matte blush. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of shimmer. Today, I felt like a little bit of shimmer. So that's what I did. Um, for my bottom lashes, I don't want any mascara to get in my other lashes. So I like to use this Tarte Man Eater one for my bottom lashes because it has this kind of applicator. The bristles are really short. So I'm really not too worried about hitting my other lashes, which is nice. Okay. Just a little, uh, not a lot. All right, now, <coughs> yeah, I'm definitely catching, catching something. Those dang kids. No. Um, my daughter is in high school and I swear every time she goes back to school each year, I get sick because, you know, kids, germs, they bring them home. Um, I know when she was in daycare, hand, foot and mouth disease was going around. Thank God I never got that. But my poor sister got it um, when her daughter got it. So like that stuff is no joke. Wash your hands. Be very careful right now. Um, I don't do the flu shot. I probably should now that I'm in the medical field, but, and I'm not an anti-vaxxer. However, there are so many more vaccines now than when we were kids. I do believe some are necessary and I, I also believe that some aren't. Um, I think antibiotics are way over prescribed. I think that we need to let our kids play in the dirt and build up their immune system naturally. Now, you know, of course, get the, you know, MMR, you know, measles, mumps, rubella, get all the, the shots, but all these extra ones, I'm not, I don't know. I mean, I'm 34, so, and I'm not in bad health, so I don't think I need it. Knock on fake wood here. Um, I haven't gotten the flu in years, not since I was a kid, so... And I, you know, I take all the safety precautions at work. I wear gloves. Um, I will, usually I don't wear a mask over my face just because ugh, they're stifling. They, ugh, if it doesn't fit you right, it's awful. It'll fog up your glasses. It's hot. You're breathing in your own air. I don't, I don't like it. The only time I will is if a patient is positive for a bloodborne pathogen, and that's that's usually the only time. Or if or if the procedure is going to be particularly splashy, like if somebody has an infection or something. Other than that, I don't really um, use it. Today, I'm going to be using my favorite lipstick. It is the NARS. Sex Machine, of course, another sex name. Like I said, I think everything NARS makes is named after sex or, or has a sexual innuendo in it. Uh, I love these kits because they have the crown and the, the mat with it. So I like to just color in. And when I contour, I always go take the contour under my bottom lip and then right here, I don't do the top one. I know Tati and Scott Barnes say too, but every time I do it, I look like I have a mustache. Uh, I think that might work better on brunettes than blondes. And no, this is not my natural hair color, but my natural hair color is still a blonde hair color. So that is why it's easy for me to get, get this light and then 
of course I have these like highlights, but they're fading out now, which they were demi permanent. I did want them to fade. Um, I have been using a clarifying shampoo to make them fade a little bit faster. I'll get my blank canvas back and I already have like new growth. So that's good. And when I did this, I also cut my hair myself because there was just, I just, I don't recommend cutting your hair yourself unless you know what you're doing. Um, all I did was dust the ends, just get the dead ends off. Uh, and just make sure it was straight. But I've been playing with my hair and messing with my hair for years. And there have been times when I have totally screwed it up. I had to go get it fixed. So I've learned some hard lessons. So don't mess with your hair unless you know what you're doing. Just putting that out there. Sorry about that, guys. This setup is still a little screwy. Like I said, until I get my um, tripod, like the teeny, tiniest little thing makes it fall. So, but I'm almost done anyway, so that's good. That was embarrassing. I'm so sorry I dropped you guys. All right, so I'm... Mother crap. See what I mean? It's doing this usually usually this works okay sorry technical difficulties Ugh, so annoying yeah tripod should be here by the end of the week now you guys can see all the giveaway stuff that I have saved for y'all so yes we are in my closet I'm gonna take my loose ABH highlighter tap my brush into it and just go ahead and glow up. I love a good highlight and I love these from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love most of their highlighter palettes. I love, um, and I actually really like the loose, um, the loose highlighter. Some people don't, but I love it. All right. Simple, easy, pretty daytime look using the Natasha Denona palette that I'm giving away. Um, all I have to do now is set my face and I'm going, I, I have um, a new bottle of Dewy set, which is what I usually use, but I got this Iconic London in BoxyCharm. I quite like it. I've actually, I've used a lot of it, so I'm gonna use this today. <sighs> Nothing like a good setting spray. All right, so I have to finish getting ready for work. Um, if you guys are excited to win the Natasha Denona mini palette, let me know. Um, I'll try to leave that. Thanks for telling me I had lipstick on my teeth, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I will try to leave that video linked down in the description box for you. Um, and that is all I have for you guys this morning because I got to get my button gear and go. But make sure you get your entries in. All you have to do to enter is like that video where I'm showing the palette. Comment that you want to be entered and you have to be subscribed to my channel. And for a second entry, you can go over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Laura Jane underscore L-U-V-S beauty. So it's the same as my YouTube handle, just with an underscore in the middle. And just follow me there and give me a heart emoji on my last post. I do believe that it is a video of me talking about the giveaway. So that way you have two entries. Until tonight, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day 
everybody enjoy their Thursday. Today is my Friday. So tonight after work, I will come on here and I will be announcing the winner. So you make sure you get your, make sure y'all get go over there and get those entries in. As always, I love you guys. Thank you for spending this time with me. And you know, I hope that you will spend more time with me. And I will see y'all tonight in the giveaway announcement video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you ring that bell so you get that notification every time I post a new video. Have a wonderful day, guys.